Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as we highlight another resource that you should know. Today, we're here with Dean Meadows, who runs The Daily Apologist. Dean, why don't you uh, introduce yourself and kind of tell us your origin story? Well, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to come on and, and have this conversation with you guys. I greatly appreciate it. Um, as you mentioned, I'm Dean Meadows. I'm the executive director of The Daily Apologist, which is a 501c3 apologetics organization within the Churches of Christ. And basically our origin story comes out of your classic uh, almost uh, college deconversion story. So probably four years ago, five years ago now, I was sitting in my office as a full-time minister and a young lady by the name of Kaylee Clary, who I knew um, all the way up from middle school to high school into college. Uh, she was at youth camp. She was at all the church events, this, that, and the other. She was attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And she called me in the middle of the afternoon. And how I'd like to describe my relationship with Kaylee is that I was big brother and I was the one that always called her. She rarely, I think, uh, called me during those college years. And so when she called me in the afternoon at two o'clock, I'm like, okay, this is either a spiritual matter or this is a boy matter. And having been a former Marine, I could definitely handle the boy issue. Right. Um, and so I, uh, I called her and said, Hey, what's going on? And she goes, well, I, I'm having some serious doubts, uh, about my Christian faith. And I said, well, what's going on? She goes, well, I was taking this new Testament class called Jesus in film with a guy by the name of Bart Ehrman. And he has started to really talk about things about the Bible, about the manuscripts, about um, just all these sorts of different things that I'd never heard, never even was exposed to. And I knew who Bart Ehrman was. He's a famous New Testament critic that wrote a book called Misquoting Jesus, the story of who changed the Bible and why. So my radar goes off. And so I just said, hey, let's just talk every day after your class. I think it was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. And let's just talk about class. And so we did every day um, that she had class with Dr. Ehrman. Uh, we, we would talk. And then after that uh, conversation about that first semester, I really thought to myself, man, um, there's not a lot of young people out there who can just pick up the phone and call somebody who is in a, at the time I was in a master's program in apologetics at Biola University. And I was just like a lot of kids just can't pick up the phone and call somebody that has uh, that type of training. And I just looked around and said, man, we need to do something about that. Um, because the number of young people who are just disengaging, um, after high school and then walking away from the church and college is just staggering. And so that's really the origin story. I tell her all the time, she's responsible for the daily apologist existing. And so we, we, uh, formed the group probably, uh, four and a half, about four and a half years ago. And, uh, that's really our, our origin story, you know, is an experience with a young person who is simply struggling with their faith. And we just decided to do something about it. That's, that's really impressive. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I guess one, one kind of side question, uh, do you dance any on TikTok or is it just informative stuff? Um, I, I, uh, do not move interpretively, okay. uh, <laughs> on, on TikTok at all. Um, I actually, most of the ones that I have right now are just me standing or, or me uh, in the car. Uh, number one, um, I don't think anybody wants to see me dance. And then number two, I don't think uh, that I can actually dance. I've got two left feet. So, yeah. so there you go. That's great. Yeah, that's so awesome. as, uh, as we think about apologetics, um, I think on the surface, a lot of people think that it's its own niche, but what would you say that y'all's niche is uh, within apologetics? Right. So as we kind of surveyed the landscape, um, we kind of looked at what was already out there. I mean, if you want to talk about a great foundation that has been laid in the church, um, you know, two things come to mind. Uh, Thomas B. Warren and the Warren Apologetics Center, and then all of the work that's been done in the natural uh, sciences and young earth creation by uh, apologetics press. And so we kind of looked at that foundation that they set and we said, okay, well, they've set a really amazing foundation and continue to do great work. 
where is is somewhere that we can can focus and kind of fit in because the last thing that we wanted to do was um you know uh just and this is no disrespect to them but we didn't want to build a castle that was already built right mm-hmm. uh and and that castle was already built so and plus we we just knew we weren't probably wouldn't be as equipped in the natural science area uh as a p they've got just so many great minds over there uh, working on that stuff and have been working on it for 40 years. So we said, where can we make an impact? And so really, uh, we decided that, hey, there's really two things that are lacking uh, in the church when it comes to overall apologetics. One, um, continuous uh, social media impact with young people. So part of what we do is we provide uh, social media resources for young people to give them a quick answer to a really tough question. We do that through things like memes, right? We do that through uh, Instagram posts where we'll take a, a pretty serious picture with a with a quote and we'll attach it to there. Um, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, we just we just got into TikTok, right? So uh, if you want a good laugh, you can see me on TikTok. Um, we have a YouTube channel as well where I do my uh, video podcasts and also what I do is called Twitter Twitter Tuesday where I take a, a atheist tweet and I break it down in five minutes. And then we have audio podcast as well. So that's kind of the first side of what we do, the first pillar, I would say, of what we do. And then the second thing we saw when we kind of surveyed the landscape of apologetics, we asked ourselves, how can we... Um, uh, train your everyday Christian with maximal impact and maximal effect. So uh, this week, this, uh, not this week, this month, about three weeks ago, we launched uh, the Daily Apologist Online Training Center, which is a training center that gives people free resources in apologetics training. So our first class that we've launched is called Apologetics 101. It's 13 lessons long. Average runtime for each lesson is about 10 uh, to 12 minutes. And then you get a free PDF layout, which I'm excited to show you guys later on. Um, that gives you the opportunity to both run the video and an interactive PDF to type in. And then once you do that, you've got your 13 uh, lessons of material that you're either ready to study, uh, that you're ready to give as a lesson if you're a, a youth minister, a minister, or a class teacher. Or maybe you're a, a co-op uh, parent and you're in charge of apologetics. Well, you can, uh, you know, take this information, format it to meet your class needs. And there you go. You're good to go. And so our, our goal uh, with that is we want to produce 100 of these in the next uh, 10 years, in the next decade, uh, so that we can have uh, resources that not only give you like classical apologetics, but also resources that uh, fit the times that we live in as culture, you know, seeks to change and seeks to continue to move in a secular direction. We can answer that uh, with, with timely classes as well. That's, That's really impressive. awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So other than the social media and the website uh, stuff that you're, that you're producing, are y'all engaging and, and providing resources for um, people in any other way? Yeah, so it's interesting that you asked me that. I just got done Monday night doing a online debate with a gentleman by the name of Jim Barrows from the Atheist Community of Austin as we talked about the existence of God and specifically uh, the cosmological argument. Is that a good argument for God? Does it even Is it even sound? And so that was about a two-hour debate. And so one of the things that we do uh, is we post our debates, our interactions, uh, on our website as well. It's called the the Daily Apologist Debates. And so uh, myself, right now, myself and Aaron Johnson uh, are on that section. And then we also provide seminars for congregations. I just uh, made a, a long trek up to Huron, South Dakota, where Sunday morning it was a balmy zero with a wind chill of negative six. And wow. so uh, we also provide... Uh, that for people as well, if they'd like to have an apologetic seminar in the areas of uh, logical reasons to believe in God and maybe the historical, not maybe, but but the historical case for the resurrection, the historical reliability 
uh, of the New Testament, we provide those types of seminars as well. So uh, is Christianity true? Uh, is Jesus a historical person? Is Christianity a copycat religion? Uh, that's, that's, those are the areas where we, where we really, um, I think, thrive in the logical reasons for the existence of God and the historical case for Christianity. So those are the two ways that we also engage. Well, is there anything else that we should know or that um, you want um, people to know about involving the daily apologists? Right. So um, we do have uh, a book out. We released it probably a year and a half ago. It's called Equip and Engage, uh, Answering 21st Century Atheism. Uh, you can buy that online at Amazon, or if you go to uh, CYC that's coming up, you can just meet me at the table and uh, you can buy it for, for five bucks. Um, mm. And and then uh, I guess uh, the other thing that I'd like to promote is a member of our team, uh, Forrest Antimasaris. He's coming out with a New Testament survey along with uh, Hiram Kemp. And I am, I am definitely looking forward uh, to that. Uh, those two guys are not just amazing uh, people and amazing preachers. They're brilliant minds. So I would encourage everybody that uh, if you're going to go out and buy a New Testament survey book, that when that drops, you need to go ahead and, and get that. And then um, maybe this is uh, a little bit um, – uh, a preview or a spoiler. I don't know what, which one you want to classify that you young guys can tell me which one this is. Um, so next year I'm looking to have my own book out. That'll be, um, uh, published. It's, uh, called how then shall we think an introduction to Christian philosophy. Hmm. So that'll be for the, be geared towards the young adult that's in, in college. And so I look forward to continuing to work on that, but, uh, hopefully in a year's time, that'll be uh dropped and uh you know people will pick that up and enjoy it so yeah, that's, that's great really, that's, that's awesome. all i got <laughs> that's really cool so the the neat thing is how much overlap there's been in some of these uh resources to know videos um a couple weeks ago we actually had uh forest uh on and uh as he talked about first century faith today but one of the things he talked about was that new testament book he has coming out and actually um we um We've also just met with um, Robert Hatfield with the Light Network, and that's the publisher that they're using uh, for that book. And uh, so it's amazing how much connection there is uh, between these different organizations and resources uh, that we've talked about. Right. Uh, but we're very thankful for what uh, each of those is doing. Um, uh, Dean, why don't you take just a minute and kind of show us around the Daily Apologist website. I can share my screen here. And I'll take you to our home page, which you obviously can see right there. And so at, as you can see, as you navigate our website, you got our logo up here. You've got the About Us, Meet Our Team, Book a Speaker, Contact, uh, My Account, which we'll get into a little bit later. And then right here on the home page, you have our blogs, podcasts, videos. And uh, for those people who decide to donate, they can just go right there. So on our homepage, we basically have the newest, most current blogs. Um, and also, this just happens to be blog posts, but sometimes we'll have uh, a video here, uh, Twitter Tuesday here, a podcast here, and then a couple of recent blogs. And then we've got some videos and podcasts below that as well. Some maybe not as new, but some popular blog, uh, podcasts or videos. And then we have an outline for our online course that we now offer. And as of today, we've got 200 students in three weeks taking that free online course. And it just is a, is a general description of uh, what the course is about and why you should take the course. And you can get started today for free there if you hit that. And then it just gives you a little bit more about who we are as the Daily Apologist. Um, it gives you our mission and our purpose, and there's a link to a story that has impacted us greatly, which is the story of Kaylee Clary, who was a young student that went to North Carolina Chapel Hill. She's a good friend of mine, and in her first year at Chapel Hill, she took a class with Bart Ehrman and started questioning her faith, and that whole story is uh, laid out there as far as part of our purpose, and then you have our upcoming events that we have, um, uh, and so then after that, you just have 
a, a call to action for anybody that wants to help. And then you can subscribe to our newsletter uh, at the very bottom of the page. So as we navigate specific sections, you can click, uh, you go to our blog, and then you'll have all of our blogs um, in uh, order of newest to oldest right here. And if you don't want to necessarily look through all that, what you can do is you can just go to this little button here and you can search for a specific subject and the blogs related that to that subject will, uh, will pop up. And then you've got our podcasts uh, that are, <clears throat> excuse me, that are audio, right? And then in the video section, you'll also get the video, uh, po video version of the podcast as well. And so a lot of rich resources there. And then for our videos, we're, we really have three categories of videos. We have the debates that we've done and that we have participated in um, over the past two years or so. And those are really interesting because all of those are uh, either formal debates that we've participated in online, or it'll be a section where, uh, a session where uh, we will call into a atheist uh, hosted show and have a conversation with the hosts. And then we've got Twitter Tuesday, which is what I do every Tuesday. I uh, break down an atheist tweet for the benefit of the audience. So those run between five and, and 10 minutes long. They're just meant to be short, sweet, and to the point. And then you have you know the corresponding co uh, podcasts from the audio to the video version as well. And then when you come over here, uh, all the way to the right, it says go to courses. Uh, and so you can go to your courses. And what we're doing right now, we just launched a brand new uh, apologetics online training center. And let me just kind of run you through how that works. So I'll go ahead and I'll log out. And what will normally happen is you'll hit our courses, and then you'll hit register now. And when you hit register now, it's super simple. You just put your name, uh, your first name, your last name, your email address. Then you make your own password and then you register. And what you have as an option down here is you can either subscribe or not subscribe to our monthly newsletter that we send out uh, to just kind of give you a behind the scenes look about what we're up to, where we've been, where we're going, uh, anything interesting that's coming down the line for the Daily Apologist, you get. Uh, first access to that. Now, since I already have an account, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll log in. There's my name. My password will show up. I log in. And then my account comes up. And here's uh, the course that I have. And what's really interesting and cool about our online training center is that once you register, uh, your name for the online training center, you get every course that we ever make for free. So if there's five courses, when you log in, it'll say, welcome, uh, your name, right? We'll be right here. And then all of the courses will drop down. And then I get to click on Apologetics 101. There's lesson one right here. And what comes with lesson one is a really cool video. And then this other feature, which is uh, really interesting, it's a downloadable uh, PDF, but we, what you can do with that PDF and, and Zoom won't let me allow, won't, won't allow me to do it now, is that once you download that PDF, uh, it won't let me separate it. But this PDF provides some really cool um, abilities. Uh, if it will download, there it is. Um, you get your outline of the course right here with your timestamps. So that as you navigate the video, if for some reason you missed something or missed a section, you simply go back to the video and you place the, um, the cursor uh, at 154 to 227 if I've missed what is apologetics. So you've got your outline there and then you've got your study questions. And what you can do here is uh, you can actually type you actually type in those study question sections. All right, and then maybe you don't wanna do study questions. Maybe you just wanna take your own notes, compile your own material. Well, uh, we have that for you too, a nice big open note-taking section that you, can, that you can look at. Now, what's really interesting 
uh, about this section and Zoom won't let me do it, but you can separate this piece here from the browser. And as the video is playing, you can type in your notes or answers to your study questions. That way you can accomplish two, you know, knock out two birds with one stone. You can have your video playing and then you can compile your, your notes or answers to the study questions at the same time. So it's not like if you don't want to, if you don't want to just watch the video and then answer the questions, you want to do both. We allow you uh, to do that. And so our goal over the next 10 years is to make a hundred of these free courses uh, for members of the church so that, um, we can really start uh, equipping everybody to engage culture. We can start training people locally. I mean, just think about it. What if, uh, and I'll stop sharing real quick. What if every congregation had somebody in it who is the basic subject matter expert in apologetics? Uh, we could then train up the next generation of uh, young people and, and they could go off to university. They could enter the workforce as a basic defender of the Christian worldview. And that's uh, specifically our goal. That's our mission. That's why we do what we do. And I am so grateful uh, for the opportunity to have this interview, to talk about the resource of the Daily Apologist. And I hope that you guys have a blessed day. And remember, equip yourself to engage culture. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video about another great resource you should know. Be sure to check out the Daily Apologist. Follow them on all your social media. And be sure to uh, check out their website.